welcome back, everybody. PPL Park is the place. You can see the weather, 74 degrees, partly cloudy. It looked like it was going to rain a little while ago, but nothing doing, so we have a beautiful night. Not too warm here. Competition. Former Union defender Bakari Samar in the middle of the defense for the Chicago Fire team. Philadelphia native Jeff Lorenko is in the midfield. Half in goal with two shutouts in back-to-back -back weeks. Sebastian Latou working the flank and looking to provide service to the vulture. Jack McInerney can't feel sorry for the opponent. Everybody trying to score some goals. And we'll see what happens here as we are underway in PPL Park. So glad you could be with us, everybody. High pressure right off the bat from Jack Mack. Back from his first All-Star game appearance. Not a great showing for the MLS All-Stars against a tough Roma side. Good fighting from Chris Rolfe and now Laurentiewicz. McGee and Rolfe. Back towards McGee, gets there before Park. Limpair whips in the cross. Niarco shoots, and it's a goal. Eight minutes and 30 seconds in. Good build-up from Chicago. Everybody was involved in the attacking third, and a powerful clinical finish from Patrick Niarco. And twice in the build-up, Mike McGee gets into pocket of spaces where he's able to get the ball, distribute out wide. Good ball in by Joel Limpair. Again, pockets of space with Mike McGee. Good turn. Again, pocket of space in front of the back four. Mike McGee opens it up out wide. Good cross by Limpair. Nobody tracks Niarco going back into the box. Freely good finish. Clean finish to the far post. Nothing that Zach McMath can do. A one two with uh, McInerney. Nicely broken up that time by Jeff Lorentowitz. Slots it through, onside, Niarco cuts it back, Rolf shoots, blocked out for a corner. And it's good work by the Chicago Fire in the final third. Good entertain, finding those spaces, making runs off the ball. Sorted out with uh, McInerney and Brian Carroll. And now Danny Cruz acting as a right flank player now. Still moving forward with some speed. Cruz, a long shot, is an easy one for Johnson. And I don't mind that from Danny Cruz as he comes inside. He's trying to find somebody to combine with in the middle. Two players in the book now for Chicago. Anibaba back in the 16th minute. Good work from Casey. Deflected. Here comes Cruz. Shoots. Saved by Johnson. Punched away to the top of the box. Played back in. Still alive for Cruz. He's got another chance. This time he smashes it high and wide. But again, Casey doing a good job creating some space. And excellent energy like always from Danny Cruz. And we talked about the ability of Connor Casey to hold on to the ball. And, to, and once he does that, then it allows people to make runs off the ball. Danny Cruz gets on the end of it. Good shot. There's Fabinho coming forward again. Slats it through. Outside is the two into the box. Shoots. Blocked. Sean Johnson was alert again. Who goes forward? Park is forward. Here comes Latou. Whipped into the near post. Deflected. Still on. It's rolling and it's in the goal. What a crazy sequence. It looked like it just sort of bounced off of Shannon Williams as he was on the ground, but it made its way across the line, and we are tied up in the 60th minute. Incredible. And we just said it, set pieces give you a chance. And I don't know how much Shane and Willing knows about it, but a well-driven ball by Sebastian Latou and roly poly Oli Shane and Williams puts it in the back of the net as he rolls over the ball. The River Inn and the Sons of Ben all on their feet like usual, making tons of noise here. The momentum shifted toward the Union. The cross headed, what a save by Johnson! Okugo's powerful header and an acrobatic Spider-Man save from Sean Johnson. Incredible. Here comes the third consecutive corner. Latou again. They're knocking on the door. Volleyed by Park. Deflected. And corner kick number four is coming up. Chicago is bending, but they have not broken yet. The crowd is going crazy here at PPL Park. Nice header by Amobio Kugel. Lorentowitz heads it back. 
Here's Leo Fernandez. Uh-oh, careful going backwards. It's taken away by Niarco. Numbers up for Chicago. Niarco slapped it through. McGee into the box. McGee shoots. And it's a goal. Magic Mike does it again. Oh, a turnover coming out of the defensive third. McGee makes no mistake and smashes it past McMath. Chicago's back in front. Tony, you said it. Coming off a turnover, Leo Fernandez loses the ball in transition. And once Patrick Niarco gets a hold of this ball, he's looking ahead, seeing the movement from Mike McGee. First touch forward. And classy. No doubt or kind of finish by Mike McGee. There's a reason why this guy now has 14 goals in Major League Soccer. Inside the box, Mike McGee in this league is second to none. Is that 11 of their 33 goals, 11 have come after the 75th minute. So, they have a history of scoring goals late. They're trying to do it again. They're crossing towards Casey. Heads it back in the middle, clear up the line. It got past Johnson. And try to get somebody on the end of the cross. Here comes Latou. Whipped in, punched away by Johnson. Excellent play by the keeper in the last seven minutes or so. Ryan Carroll crossing it in, hoping it was there. Here's McInerney. Jack back shoots and he hit it wide. It was deflected. They're going to give a corner. And the difference between this blade and early on in the season is the first touch by Jack McInerney. It does not get the ball off his feet. Cannot hit the ball right away. The space is closed. And now all of a sudden the ball gets deflected. Earth an opportunity for the Philadelphia Union. I would be positive that he wasn't expecting that ball from the keeper. Good fighting with Amarikwa. No foul coming. Amarikwa shoots it. What a block. That one big right ball blocked away by McMath. They could have put lights out. Instead, still a sliver of hope for the Union. I'm with you that time, Alejandro. The long goal kick is taken. The five minutes have gone. And there is the final whistle. Chicago with a late goal from who stands now as the leading MVP candidate, Mike McGee.